so excited to be here with you today for Activities with Andy. I have a special guest joining me today. Can you guess who it is? It's Don! He's here to help me today. Hey everybody! I'm so lucky to have a friend to come over and help me because today's project has two steps. One, where we actually make art, and the second step is where we cook the art in the microwave. So Don is going to help me today by running the microwave so that I can stay talking to you while our art is cooking. I know, it sounds weird. We're cooking art today. So today we are going to make puff paint. So let me tell you about our cast of characters, all the things you need to do puff paint. In my super old Tupperware container, I have all-purpose flour, just plain old flour. We have salt. I have plain old kosher salt. Water. Baking powder, make sure it's not baking soda, baking powder. And Ziploc bags, the little sandwich bags, and then also some food coloring. I have two kinds, I have neon and regular, just for fun. All right, so we're gonna start by measuring out one cup of flour. Now, one thing to know with this recipe, it doesn't, doesn't have to be perfect, you can just kind of guess. But the recipe calls for one cup of flour. So I have a third of a cup measure, so I'm gonna do three scoops. And then I'm gonna put one teaspoon of salt. This activity can be really fun with kiddos because they can help you do all the measuring and all the mixing. And for our grown-ups, it's just fun to do. So one teaspoon of salt, pour that in. And then this is the fun part. Three teaspoons of baking powder. Isn't this cool? Look how the baking powder has a thing to help you measure. So you scoop it and get it really full and then you scrape it on that measure part and make it nice and flat. Can you see that? Cool, huh? Three scoops of baking powder. All right, so we got all of our measuring done. Here's what I like to do. Stir that up first. Make sure your, all your dry ingredients are mixed up. If you ever do any baking, they always tell you to mix your dry ingredients first. So mix up the flour really good, and then we're gonna add water. This is the part that gets a little bit tricky because there's not a perfect measurement. You just add a little and stir. You want it to be kind of the thickness of toothpaste, so you might just kind of have to play with it. When I practiced for this video today, I added too much water and mine was too drippy. So you know what? I added a little more flour and I thickened it up and it worked just fine. So you just kind of have to play with how much water you use because if your house is more humid than mine or maybe it's a rainy day and it's wet outside or maybe it's a day like today and it's super dry, you might need a little more water. All right, I've got mine mixed up pretty good. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I'm gonna add just a little bit more water to mine to get it stirred up. All right. Now, we're gonna do two colors. This is what I like to do. Take your bag, and I like to flip over the top like this. Flip it over so that your zipper is kind of facing the outside, and then your bag will sit open really nice and wide. So you can scoop some of your paint mix into the bag, like this. And you can do as much or as little as you want. Do a little bit more. And then, we're gonna add food color. This is the really fun part. I love this part. We're gonna drip. Let me make sure you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna drip a few drops of color in there. Make sure when you're using food color that you're really careful because if you squirt it on your counter and it stains, your mom or your dad or your grown-up might be mad. So, zip it up, make sure the air is out, and you're gonna squish it and squash it and mix the color in just like this. Now, what I like about this is it keeps it from getting messy on your hands or hopefully on your mom's counter. Keeps it a little bit neater. So you can mix it in mouth. I think mine might need a little more color. I don't think I added enough of my food color. Couple more drops. That's kind of what's fun about art, isn't it? That you kind of just get to play with it and make it just how you like it. All right, so I've got my purpley color here. 
Let's see. It's pretty mixed up. Can you see? It's kind of purpley now. All right, I'm gonna do one more color. Take my bag, open the top, just like this. I'm gonna drop some of my paint in there. Ooh, that's kind of thick. All right, let's see. What other color should we do? Should we do green? That'd be fun. Purple and green, that's kind of Halloween colors. All right, here we go, you ready? This is the really fun part. Drip, 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 drip. Put a little extra in there so that we can get a good green color. All right, seal the bag. And squash, squash, just like this. Mix it up really good. This part's really fun. It's a great sensory activity and you can actually work on strengthening those fine motor skills, those fine motor muscles in your fingers. Really get them nice and strong. So, got it kind of mixed up. And you can always add as much color as you like to make your paint the color that you want. Okay, now we've got our paint made. Here's a really fun part. You're gonna take your bag and you're gonna cut just the tiniest little corner off the top, just like that. Now I'm gonna move some stuff so you can see really good. Here's my paper. I wonder if you can see it from down there. I don't think you can. So I'm gonna put it up here on top of my can. I think for fun, I'm gonna do some really cool art. Are you ready? This is what's fun, is you kind of want it to be thick as you squeeze it onto your paper. It's kind of like pancake batter. But you can squeeze any design that you like. Okay, I made some green. Now here's my purple. I'm gonna cut a little corner off of this one. Big smile. And then write a word upside down just for you. Can you guess what I made? Look, it's Gordy the Clown! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pass this to my lovely assistant and he's gonna put it in the microwave for 45 seconds. So you just put your paper nice and flat in the microwave for 45 seconds. Now, if you have a child at home and you are doing this together, I strongly recommend putting a chair up by your microwave and watching as it cooks, because as it cooks, it puffs. It gets puffy, 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 and dry. So as soon as it's done cooking, you can take it out of the microwave and you can touch it. So we've got 27 more seconds till we get to see our exciting Corny the Clown artwork. I wonder if Corny will hang it on his fridge if I send it home. Hmm. I'll ask him later. He probably will. <laughs> you, I think he might. Don's going to ask him to see if he'll hang it up on his fridge. Well, maybe while we're waiting for our art to finish cooking, we'll do one more piece. Hmm. What could we design? Let's see. I also have white paint here. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I heard the microwave beep. I wonder if it's done. Now, remember when you get things out of the microwave to be extra careful because it can be very hot. Look at this. Isn't that so fun? And look, it's nice and dry. It's almost kind of like pancake batter, but it's nice and dry and it's really puffed up. So I'm gonna send this home with Don so that he can ask Corny if he's hanging on his fridge. What do you think? Would that be fun? Okay, one more piece of art. We're gonna do one more design. All right. And I think I'm just gonna do some squiggles. Because, you know, art can just be free form. It doesn't have to be a specific design. That's my best kind of art when I don't have to draw anything. Some polka dots. We need some color, don't we think? I'll say some purple. We'll do some more polka dots. Fun. Very satisfying to squeeze these bags with the paint inside. Hmm. I wonder what you would make if you were to draw with puff paint. I hope that you try this and send me a picture. I 
would be pretty cool. I'd like to see your art. You could even show it to us in the talent show. That would be neat. All right, we have one more piece of art. Check this out. Ooh, drippy. One more piece of art. We're gonna put it in the microwave. My handy dandy helper is gonna pop that guy in the microwave. And while we're waiting look, it's nice and cool, I'm gonna come around and show it to you. Nice and close. Check it out. Doesn't that look just like corny? <laughs> With his curly hair, do you think? Maybe not. <laughs> but you can see if I hold it this way. Can you see how it's puffed up? Isn't that fun? Wonder what colors of paint you would make. Maybe you would make orange and make a pumpkin for Halloween or for fall. Maybe you could add blue, yellow, green, and orange and make a rainbow. That's my favorite. Hmm. Bet there's a lot of other fun colors you can make. All right, we have seven seconds until our next piece of art is out of the microwave. Get ready. Listen for the beep. Here it comes. There it is. Remember, getting things out of the microwave, be careful because it could be hot. You want to be extra careful. Wow, that is cool. Check this out. Look at our art. It's all dry. It's pretty warm, so we have to let it cool. Now it comes up so you can see. Look, it puffed up just right. See? Can you see how it puffed on the paper? It's not fun. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining me today for art. I hope that you try doing puff paint at your house. And if you do, don't forget to send me a picture. Also, if you like these videos, make sure you go to our YouTube channel and check out all over 120 videos of all the fun things that you can be doing at home and watching all the corny the clowns, all the story times, and learn all kinds of ways to be healthy at home. Friends, thanks for joining me today. And my special guest, Don. I'm glad he was here, too. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.